Welcome back to Hooton Park for round three of the Northern Carling Federation Championship Series. It's the Junior Rotax final. I'll say junior final. There is one Junior X30 on the grid. Having to start at the back, Jack Davis. It's Jake Lesty and Aidan Sloss on the front row. The championship leader is Charlie Walsh. He's going off P3. Jack Davis there from Prenton. The only Junior X30 in the field. Easy to spot with his green body work, green and black helmet. We've got contact through turn two. Oh, four drivers involved. Drew Perry seemed to cut across the front of James Bonner. Scott Lapsley involved. Likewise, the other novice in the field, the 17, Oliver Founds. He was involved as well. Let's have another look at the slow motion replay. That's Drew Perry. He makes a move from the inside, trying to get past the driver in front. He's just been clipped there. He's got in front and impeded the 48. James Bonner, Lapsley runs into the side there of the 17, Oliver Founds. That will be a front ferry penalty for him. Oliver Dilks, mechanical failure whilst running in fourth place. He should be one of the front runners. He's second in the NKF Championship. He's out of the race. The other man involved in that incident as well, having to take avoiding action, was Ryan Evans. He was out on the grass. So all sorts of uh, stuff going on there. And unfortunately, I think the 48, because he was cut across the front of, not his fault, uh, he will end up with a front bearing penalty, as indeed certainly will Scott Lapsley. Charlie Walsh, the championship leader, running in P2. So uh, he's managed to steer clear of everything. And he'll probably realise as he goes past the stricken cart on the left-hand side of the circuit through the final turn, that is the man who's second in the championship to him. There's the confirmation there's going to be a penalty after the race for cuts 30 and 48. The 48, James Bonner, well, he was caught out as the 77 cart of Drew Perry tried to make the move past somebody in front of him. He, he actually clipped the, the cart in front, I think, but uh, came across the front of the 48, James Bonner. That will be where his bearing penalty has come from. And the other man in that, Scott Lapsey, of course, running to the side of... 17 trying to take avoiding action and that's where his front fairing penalty has come from that is drew perry recovering after that that one incident kieran k 73 running p3 started p5 so made up a couple here's a battle for six ed norton up the inside of james bond as he made it stick they're side by side down to the double apex norton's gonna have to give best to bonner i think he does so thinks better of going up the inside through the double apex have a look at the slow motion replay you see Ed Norton there standing on the brakes, only a rear disc brake on carts. So that's a typical sort of driving style in karting. Stand on the brakes, get the rear end twitching, turns the front end into the corner. I remember back in the day when we were racing, we used to race against Liam Fennick. Liam used to like that style. My son drove a different style, but lap times were very similar. Aidan Sloss, the man from Cumbernauld, picked out. Troy Spencer as well, man from Stockport, running P5, started P6. James Bonner comes towards us with Norton Davis and McKenna just in behind him through the double apex. There they go in third place in that battle there. The green car, very easy to spot. Nice colour scheme as well. I like the fact he's got the helmet matching the cart decals. Very tidy indeed. Now, if you're new to karting, here's a slow motion replay. The inside rear wheel on the carts needs to lift very slightly to make the turn. But if it lifts too much, causes oversteer. Now he's having to correct it. And then the front inside wheel will lift as he corrects the oversteer. That is a car that's not set up properly. Now, the three leaders there as they went through the turn, you see the leader, his car is set up perfectly, and here's why. The inside rear wheel there, it's just going light. You can't notice a discernible lift off the tarmac, and his car looks like it's on rails. That's a car that's perfectly set up. The driver's in second and third, by the way. Well, you know what you're looking for. Those cars not quite as good as the race leader. But obviously quick enough to be there in second and third. Took the race leader, Gresty, out front, goes past the back markers. Got Charlie Walsh, Kieran Kay, Aidan Sloss in close attendance. Here's that battle for sixth place. Looks like Norton's got it done this time. He has. Lovely clean move for Ed Norton, the man from Egremont in Cumbria. Close to Rower, of course. He'll spend a load of time at that track. Now P6, started P7. That incident on lap one, going through turn two, featured both of the novices. The uh, leading novice just going through the picture was the 17 card of Oliver Founds. Weather update, the winds are gusting to 40 mile an hour now. You can see the trees in the background, they're buffeting not only the static cameras, but the cameraman as well. They're struggling to hold on, but uh, hold on they will, as they usually do. Is that battle for sixth place. That's Ed Norton just in front of the Junior X30 cart, the only Junior X30 cart 
in the field as losing a place is James Bonner runs wide through the hairpin and that costs him a spot. Back down through the start finish line one more time. Jack Gresty, the race leader, with the novice Drew Perry involved in that first lap incident, of course. He's now impeding the money in second place and the championship leader in the NKF, Charlie Walsh. Walsh gets by though, nice clean move up to the hairpin. Talking about nice clean moves up to the hairpin. Aiden Sloss through the third. Sloss goes through the third, drops uh, Kieran Kay and the 73 back to fourth place. They come through the double apex. There they are, third and fourth place. There's another car going through that double apex that's not quite set up properly. It's a good shot that if you want to look at the car you're responsible for to see how yours compares to others. Down towards us, Aiden Sloss down the inside of the novice back marker. He's got Sir Kieran Kay all over the back of him on the 73 car. They go through turn two and up to the hairpin. That's Gresty that leads it then from Walsh. And then here's a battle for third. That's Sloss with Kay. Troy Spencer on the 29 trying to get past the uh, novice in front of him and he's done so nice and cleanly. That's the battle for third. So Aiden Sloss against Kieran Kay, that's the main battle on the track. It looks like Gresty's got this one done. Reasonably comfortable gap as it goes through the finish line. That is the race leader, Jack Gresty from Sale. That's the lead he has over the man in behind him. The man behind him is Charlie Walsh. 1.4 seconds was the gap back to second. Walsh still the championship leader in the NKF battle though. Here they come towards us. The main battle is this one here. That Sloss in third place with Kieran Kay on the 73 right behind him in fourth. The man in front of them is the back marker of course. He is the leading novice in the race but still the back marker Drew Perry. He may indeed influence this battle for third because they've got to get past him and in getting past him. Aidan Sloss may give an opportunity here with three laps to go to Kieran Kay right in behind that is the 77 cart, the leading novice of Drew Perry, but uh, he is effectively the back marker. And the cart's behind him, third and fourth as Kay makes a mistake. Kay runs wide, takes a lot of curb on the exit, and that's cost him at least two cart lengths. And that's good aware driving by Drew Perry, who gets out of the way of this third and fourth place battle. You can see there's uh, a good couple of cart lengths being extended now by Aidan Sloss over... Kieran Kay, but Kay's working that gap back. He's just got to keep calm. Two laps to go as they go across the line this time. There's the leader, Gresty, Walsh, Sloss, Kay. Fastest lap to Jake Gresty, 35-63. That compares to 35-72 for the man behind him. Walsh, so Walsh is not closing him as things stand. Talking of closing him though, Kieran Kay getting closer to Aiden Sloss. This battle for third place, there it is. Into the double apex for the penultimate time is getting very spicy indeed this is the sort of battles we like to see on the track with a lap to go the leader's clear with the man in second place Charlie Walsh that is Gresty leading into the last lap Charlie Walsh there there he is in second but this is the battle we want to look at past this lap now to Gresty he's just improved it by a tenth of a second 35-5-3 now race leader towards us Gresty Walsh Sloss K and then Troy Spencer in fifth Man in behind that, the 77, the leading novice. Great day in the office for Jake Gresty out front. Charlie Walsh is going to be happy enough with his day. There he is, Walsh on the 39. Walsh, the championship leader in the NKF series. And the man out front here, Jake Gresty, not taking part in that championship series. So he may win the race, but not taking points off Walsh. Is Gresty happy with the win? You bet he is. Gresty takes it from Walsh in second. Sloss comes through for third place from Kay Spencer. Ed Norton on the 28 is going to finish in sixth place ahead of Jack Davis on the Junior X30. Then comes Ewan McKenna on the 92. Scott Lapsley will get a five second penalty after the early dramas on lap one. James Bonner likewise will pick up a five second penalty. Let's have a look at the official result then. There it is. So the runners in yellow are the National Kart Federation drivers. So Charlie Wall, championship leader. Of course, the man in second in the championship is still Oliver Dilks, but he's taken a huge haul of points off him as Dilks had that mechanical failure. Aidan Sloss still there in third place from Bonner Norton, Ryan Evans, Ewan McKenna, Oliver Founds, Oscar Hall not here this weekend. Bit of a surprise, neither was Ben Sheriff. That's all from round three here of the Northern Kart Federation Championship. But don't forget, if you're in karting, you don't want to miss this one. The Hooton Park IKR Masters 
on the 28th and 29th of September. It's our TDI Media UK Tour event. It's live stream plus a live stream on the day with David Sullivan, your race commentator, guiding you through the action. After the event, we'll be bringing you a highlights package with more camera angles, the drone, and the sort of graphics that you typically see in our post-production edits. Enter now via tdi-media.com. We'll see you then. We're back with more race action next week from the Super 1 Series at Clay Pigeon. Don't miss that. We'll see you then.